We saw the inmate. Oh my god. What the heck? The heck is right. Get those windows rolled up. This is a viewer video showing what appears to be escaped inmate, convicted killer Gonzalo Lopez, running off Thursday. Prison bus was taking Lopez from state prison in Gatesville to Huntsville at the time. Today is day five of the search. Convicted killer Lopez accused of taking over that transport bus in Leon County and escaping. Over 300 officers have been searching using helicopters, thermal imaging canines, and searching on horseback and on foot. Fox 44's Mally Jones is live in Leon County tonight with the latest on the search. Mally. Yeah, MG, we just received an update from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, and they reiterated what they've been saying throughout the day, that they are continuing to search throughout the Centerville area because there is no evidence that Lopez has left the area. This here is Highway 7, and it stretches all the way to Highway 320 for where it's blocked off because of that search. The TDCJ says it will search elsewhere when they get intelligence that tells them that, but for now, there is nothing that says he is anywhere else. TDCJ Public Information Officer Robert Hurst says Gonzalo Lopez struggled with Officer Smith trying to get his gun, which Lopez did not successfully do, but Lopez stabbed Officer Smith in the hand and chest. Smith is reported to be okay. The officer in the back of the bus shot out the back tires of the bus after using an emergency exit. That's when Lopez lost control of the bus and ran away across a pasture northbound. Officers fired shots, but they don't believe he, they, hit them. they hit him. It's getting warm out here, as it has been for the last couple of days. So uh, we're, we're hopeful that we can locate him today. Uh, it's been going on since Thursday afternoon at about 1.45. Uh, we have not let up. Uh, this has been a search going morning, noon, and night. Hearst says they last saw Lopez wearing his white prison uniform, and there is nothing indicating that he has taken it off. Hearst says there aren't many people who live back there where they are searching, but those who are are fully aware of what's going on and cooperating. The community has given numerous food and water donations to law enforcement during this search, and TDCJ is grateful for the community's support. Officials have raised the reward to $50,000 for any information leading to Lopez's location. In Centerville, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News.